Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Taquise Beauty Tutorials here. If you guys want to see how I achieved, how we achieved this beautiful blue smoky eye, then you keep watching. I'm gonna show you in this video. So guys, normally when she comes, we discuss her look. She comes with ideas, you know, different ideas. So um, we go through our consultation on um, both our creations, <laughs> both our ideas, and decide on a look that is desirable, that she's seeing. It's my job to put it there, okay? So as we discuss the look, you know, you're always supposed to take your time. Um, it's good if you just discuss with your client first uh, before doing anything to make sure they're comfortable with what you're doing they're, they know what they want they know what they want you to do they know how they want you to look how they want to look you discussing that with your client before you even doing anything i'm telling you you will cut out so many confusion so before i start i clean off the canvas you know i clean it real well make sure it's smooth then um, I go into um, a um, moisturizing product. It depends on the texture of the skin. And sometimes when um, a person have textured skin, it means that a person probably too oily or too dry. Either or, you know, you can detect that by, you know, looking and touching, you know, um, the thicker, you might need to put a little bit more moisture there, you know, um, if it's like very thin and weak, you need to put some moisture there. If it's, you know, it's different scenarios for different situations, okay? Um, but like I said, some people could be too oily, you know, and they need to have a, a um, mattifying product that can, you know, help control the pores and if they're dry they need um something that can help them put moisture into the skin you know and that will solve a lot of problems that they have now if i say anything i mean anything that helps you darling it's just marvelous i tell you so make sure you subscribe to the channel because it's more <laughs> it's more that is in store for you, okay? So, um, we had a consultation too about her brows because they messed them up at the salon, so at the shop, at the nail shop or not. So, I had to go in with my um, razor and kind of just straighten up a little bit, you know, clean up just a little bit, not much. So, um, she, she always upset those brows ain't right okay my girl always want to keep her brows on fleek and she don't like for not a piece to be out of place all right when she find out that i arch real well <laughs> i think we're gonna have some problems but anyway oh when i get them to the desired shape that i need them to be and that i feel that is her desire um i go in with um a concealer and um, I begin to shape my shape her brows. But before I use the concealer to shape her brows, guys, I dive into a brow product. Um, I use the brow pomade on her. I use the um, Benefit Brow Pomade number five on her. I really like that color because it's like the same color as her brows. And you know, she she likes to be dramatic, but sometimes. And I know she likes to be dramatic, so I, I'm very careful on her brows because I am a person that can really go overboard with brows, making them thick, you know. And I, I really like to be careful because she's very particular about her brows. So I make sure I try to stay to the desired shape that they are, you know, because it's just safe, okay? Unless she say, hey, Ty, can you make my brows thick? But she's never the one to like complain about me doing her brows, she will want me to do them thicker. But I kind of try to be in a safe zone, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't want her to tell me off like she <laughs> did the, the, the people at the shop. So anyway, 
Um, cleaning up. Um, using the Tarte Shape Tape um, concealer, and that's how I clean up the brow. You know, and that's how you give your brow a little highlight too. You know, you you give your brows just a tad bit of highlight. You know, by using a, a concealer that is the same color as your skin tone. Okay, um, you can use the same color as your skin tone, but a, a tad bit lighter. Oh my God! If you use a tad bit lighter, you're gonna see that glow, girl. You're gonna be like, God, Lita Cleese, <laughs> girl. I've been needing this all my life. Go ahead and use it. Go ahead and use it. Go ahead. So, um, I applied the primer to her skin, and now I'm blending that in. And it's that good primer too. This the Benefit um Poreless Primer. I really like this primer for any skin type. You know, I love it because it does two things. It hydrates and it matters it mattify. And it keeps the makeup on, okay? Honestly, if you blend it in there really nice, it keeps the makeup on. I'm telling you, like it keeps it on, you know, and it protects um her the pores, um, and it and it doesn't produce as much oil, you know. Um, it lasts for a long time. Um, on the skin um, throughout the events or whatnot. So, and then I'm diving into my Dior um, foundation. I decided to use Dior on Angela Day because let me tell you, honey, let me tell you that Dior is nice. All right. I love the Dior foundation. It's so flawless on her skin. And I also um, dive into my, um, I dive into my Anastasia um, bronzing cream. I like it, you know, and I'm using that today. So, um, I'm using that bronzing cream to contour the face. Now, what you want to do, uh, what I do is blend it all out with a sponge. I just go in and make sure it's blend out, make sure it looks natural. Then I dive into a concealer now, the concealer that I'm using is by Maybelline Fit Me. I like their concealers. Really now, this is a step that I do. I go into the brows with that same concealer. And I go underneath the lip bone, the cheeks. Well, not the cheeks, but the chin. I go towards the chin. And I put a little bit there on the chin. And then I go in the eyes and I blend it in. And I take it above the lid. Just to blend it out and pick up her eye, pick up the under eye. If you want to pick up anything, you got to bring it up. So that's the way it's going. So now I'm going into another brush and I'm just going in blending. Okay, this is a foundation brush um, by um, BH Cosmetics. And I'm just going into that brush and blending in everything. Then I'm taking my Real Technique brush. Bringing out those cheekbones once more, bringing a little bit of shadow towards them, you know. And I'm, I, I like to blend as I go. Now, if y'all looking at that gorgeous blue dress that's been back there, looking at us and just blinding us, that's her dress. All right. Yes, she bring her clothes so I can have the full ideal of what we got to do. Okay, so. Um, I use the Fendi Beauty, um, setting powder. I love the Fendi Beauty setting powder on her skin. It's really nice. Um, it's not too drying and it looks really good. You know, sometimes, sometimes Angela is dry. Sometimes she come in and she's oily, you know, so she has combination skin, you know, she just combination. But more, majority of the time she dry. And I got to put moisture in her skin. And that's in the summertime. <laughs> All right. Okay. She, Her face is very rarely oily. Rarely. She's always glowing because she used my um, ginger serum. She always come in glowing. Oh, my God. So, anyway. Oh, look at those brows. Now I'm applying, well, I'm applying that um, Fendi Beauty powder just a little bit, just to dry out the um, the lid so it can get ready for some shadows, okay? Um, 
I'm gonna prime her eyes with the Too Faced eyeshadow primer, which is really, really good. Eyeshadow palette that I'm using is Juvia's Place, and I will put the palette in the description box, guys. Um, so check that out if you want to know what palette, if you want to buy this palette. You can find all that in the description box. I'll put down everything I remember using. All right, um, in the description box. So, so as you see, I did a brown, and then I went on the lid and I put orange there. Now, however, this blue is gonna need something to hold on to. So, this is where that orange is gonna come out. It's gonna make that that blue more vibrant, you know, because I didn't really want to color her lid white. No, because it one, I didn't want the blue to kind of come through it. Shears and, you know, mattes don't go to me. Like, they don't lay down right. You know, they don't lay down right. So, I'm going to put some um, some gl um, glue, glitter glue on top of her lid so we can catch that little shadow the way I want it. All right? Because we're going we're gonna to get this as fally as possible. So I'm gonna I'm giving you a fall blue, okay. And since we do not have a palette that exists, the color Angela done picked out, I gotta create that color. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so I'm using um several colors in this Julius uh place palette. I'm using several colors, you know, to, to get this look. Or whatnot. So um, that's why I say I'm gonna put the the palette in the description box. You guys can get it if you choose, but it's a great palette or whatnot. Now, what I'm using to smoke out her eye is the Julius Place bronzing palette. I like that deep, you know, <laughs> that deep brown. I like that, you know. And Angel seemed to like that every time. Like she liked that every time because you know she do not know that I know that every time she comes to me. All her looks looks the same. Like she be showing me the same uh, creations, kind of similar to everything she be wanting. And she say, "Not too dramatic." And I'm like, "Girl, you look, you see this picture?" <laughs> but yeah, oh my god, it just turned out so nice. And I love the brow bone and how it is lit. All right, and we got that by using the Anastasia Glow uh, Palette, the Glow Kit which is bomb, okay? Going into that Fendi again, and I'm just lining up, cleaning up, you know, because I don't know what I need to do next, okay? So I'm fin this is going to tell me what I need to do next. This is like a, um, a guide to me. So what I'm going to do is, you know, I'm going to let that sit for a minute, and I'm going to grab my brush, and I'm going to blend everything together. You know, I'm going to mix it up like, 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 like we're making a cake. We're baking a cake, how you put all the ingredients in there. So, um... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead, when I'm done highlighting her tear duct, you know, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to blend everything together like a, a mixture, cake mixture, you know. So anyway, you're going to see. But before we go into the, the blending, we got to work on these eyes. Now, everything, I, I, this is the time where I fix everything, okay? This is the guide here, all right? So. I'm going to have to put that wing on there. You know, she don't like wings because folks don't know how to draw. <laughs> but I always put a wing on her eye. She always pick looks now with wings. She used to hate wings until I started drawing them on there. She realized, like, okay, her hand is flicked it right. Okay. So, um, I like to use the 18-hour um, Echo, e Echo Liner, I think. Echo Liner. Echo, I don't remember. But I like it's 18 hour. You can get it at your local drugstore. I love it, okay? I mean, it took me a long time to love it because you had to learn how to really control it. You know, and um the more you use it and the more you try, you get better and better. So I learned how to flick it, you know. So mm-hmm. Look at those eyes, like so pretty. I, I, the idea was to create a, a blue mirror, okay? <laughs> yes, and yes. So she was like, be sure you tag this, you know, 
black women smoky eye because uh, smoky blue eye because she couldn't find it, you know, and she was looking for these pictures, the picture to show me, and she couldn't find the right one that she she couldn't find the one that she wanted. So she was like, You make sure you tag the hell out this video, okay, with black women, blue smoky eye, okay? And I said, I'm gonna do the best I can. I'm gonna do the best I can. Using my um using this um the mascara I'm using is the roller mascara by benefit. I bet y'all said it could like benefit. Yeah. Benefit don't like me because it ain't sending me never anyway. Uh yeah, so I like to put the mascara on first before I put the um mink on, which is which is from my brand. She wear everything me, girl. Everything me. This lady here is loyal. Um she just the queen. Look at that hair. Look at her. Look, look. Don't nothing be out of place with her. I'm telling you, like, it's just marvelous, honey. Just marvelous, okay? <laughs> Everything about you is a marvelous. Girl, look at those cheekbones, like, woo. Baby, wait, wait. Just give us time. Wait. Stay tuned now. Make sure you guys subscribe. So right now, we're going to go ahead and apply the lashes. And I'm using my duo um, glue. Lash glue, I love duo glue, okay? I love duo glue because my clients always tell me, girl, I took out my lashes <laughs> when I took that. I said, girl, don't take them off like that. You got to make sure you, um, you know, add some moisture to it. Some oil, some water, something. Don't, the water ain't going to help. Water's going to make it hurt worse. But oil will help loosen that glue. All right? Um... And it's going to stay on because I'm finna fan it, okay? I'm going to fan that sucker until it's dry. I don't want it to move, okay? Because that ain't cute when you, you know what I'm saying, you at the ball and you winking and they like, oh, you're so beautiful. And that lash come out of place? No. Nah, that ain't cute. That ain't, uh-uh. That ain't cute, honey. So I'm going to make sure I do my part before you leave. Um. Anyway, yeah. So these, the lashes that she's wearing is cowgirl oh cowgirl is very popular but it's hard for me to get my hands on right now but very popular um lash so guys if you guys like looks like this be sure to subscribe to the channel come back and see me because you will see looks like this all the time okay like if you like something like the video let me know so i can share with you guys detail videos like so oh all right, make sure you come back and see me again. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. All right, until we meet again, I love you. My father love you more. Be blessed till we meet again. Bye, guys. I see you later.